This is an introduction to the Load More and Infinite Scroll widget by Limited Elements for Elementor. What this widget does, it adds a Load More button to your post list, post grids, WooCommerce grids, WooCommerce lists, that when you click on the button, it will load more items from your query. Now you can turn this also into an infinite scroll, which will automatically add more items once you scroll down to that part. Here's another cool example over here. So I'm just scrolling down and then it's loading more. That's called an infinite scroll and it can turn to a button after a certain amount of iterations that you customize in the settings of the widget. Without no more further ado, let's get started. To get started with the load more and infinite scroll widget, the first thing you're going to want to make sure is that you have a limited elements pro version installed since this widget exists only in the pro version of the plugin. Inside of the plugin, I'm going to search for load more and um, over here, here's the result load more infinite scroll. I'm going to hover over that and click install to install it to the widget. Now this widget does not work standalone. It will need to work with some kind of post or WooCommerce widget. So for example purposes, I'm going to install the post list over here. So let's click install and jump inside of Elementor to start seeing how this works. Inside of Elementor, I'm going to search for the post list to add it to the page. Here we go, drag and drop. And inside over here, I'm going to jump into post query and just select my query, just so we don't see all sort of unnecessary items. Over here, I'm going to set the maximum number of posts to two. It's a small number, but this is for example purposes just so you see what I mean and how this works. So over here we have two posts and we want to add a load more button. Clicking on the widgets pane inside of Elementor and I'm going to search for the word load again. Here's the widget that we've just installed from the Unlimited Elements widget catalog, widget library. Drag and drop that inside. And now these two widgets are almost connected the only thing I need to do is jump back into the post list and over here we're going into the post pagination and Ajax settings and I'm going to enable Ajax. Since this technique is using Ajax, you need to select Ajax for loading this over here. Awesome. Next part is to go over the settings. So let me take you quickly over the settings or actually one second before that, let's save the page and test this. Now I need to test this in the front end of the website inside of the preview. That's because it won't work if I'm in the back end. So let's click over here, load more and it loads more items that are associated with the query that I've selected in my post list. And as I said before, this can also work with WooCommerce widgets by Unlimited Elements. So it's really flexible, really cool. And you can even put this inside of an archive page. So it can work on any standalone page, which is really awesome. And it can also work in an archive template. So back to the settings. And over here, the first setting is to enable infinite scroll. So I'm just going to click infinite scroll. I'm going to save that again. I'm going to go back to my page and now you can see that as I scroll down each time I will get an infinite scroll. Now the infinite scroll occurred over here three times. The reason it occurred three times is because the default over here says for the infinite scroll to work just three times and then after that return the load more button. So this is configurable and you can set whatever you want over here. The number of items it's loading each time is also configurable. So by default, it's going to add two each time because initially there were only two items inside of my post query. But 
If I want to override that, I can put over here, for example, five, and then when clicking load more, it will load five items each time. The next setting is for the load more button text. You can change the text over here. Maybe you have a different language. Maybe you want to change the wording and the micro copy. So you can do that as well. You can align this if you want to align the button to the left or to the right or whatever. And over here, this is the loading text. Now, the loading text we can't see right now because we're seeing the button. So we made a setting over here that's called debug loading state. What this state does, it just shows you how this will look while it's loading. And now you can change the text to whatever text you want, like I described earlier about the load more button. And you can also change the uh, animation over here. So there are all sorts of awesome animations, for example, this mouse animation. So that's awesome for infinite scroll to show people that they need to continue scrolling down to load more items. So we made a lot of options over here that are really, really cool. And they are also customizable. If you jump into style, you can customize everything about the button and you can also customize everything about the load more or loading animation over here. So for example, if I don't want it to be one under the other, I can just change that to row, add some margin over here between my icon in my text and that's looking awesome so you can play around with this customize it maybe change the colors if you need to and you're all set to go so i hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and i'll see you in the next video